Here's a quick video on tips for brake shoe replacement. The channel Minute DIY Videos has a fantastic guide on changing your brake shoes. Tip number one, you don't need high-end tools to work on these brakes. Go down to Harbor Freight, get this kit for about 15 bucks, 63, 640. It comes with the brake spring pliers, the hold down spring tool, and a brake spoon. The hold down spring tool will get these off no problem. See? Tip number three, use brake spring pliers to remove the outermost spring. There you go. If you're changing the wheel cylinder, you're gonna need a 9 16 to remove the brake line fitting an 11 millimeter socket to remove the two bolts and an eight millimeter line wrench to loosen that bleeder valve when you bleed the system. When you put everything back together, you're gonna need to torque down the bleeder valve to 62 inch pounds, the brake line fitting, 13 foot pounds, and the mounting bolts, 13 foot pounds. Here's another tip. Put tape on the brake shoe lining that'll prevent it from getting contaminated this is a dual servo system. The front of the vehicle is that way. So the brake shoe with the least lining goes towards the front of the vehicle, closest to the front of the vehicle. So it'll look like this. The star adjuster, the adjusting mechanism, the little star portion, it goes towards the back. The socket, it goes towards the back. Build the bottom first. Connect your parking brake, lever, it should just slide into that groove, there you go. The replacement spring was preventing the star from moving, so I had to disassemble this part and use the old spring, reuse the old spring. The one with the kit was no good. Now we're going to start building the Self-adjusting mechanism, grab your actuator lever and the lever pivot. The lever pivot goes on the lever and this is going to line up with that hole and that hold down pin. You're going to use the green hold down spring that comes with the kit, brand new. It'll sit right there. And then just tighten it in with your tool. This piece is called the shoe guide. Don't forget about it. The blue spring that comes with the kit goes under the adjuster right here. And this golden spring, hold down spring, is the one closest to the front on the primary shoe. This is the parking brake strut and the strut spring. The spring can only fit on one side. The spring goes opposite the side of the uh, adjusting mechanism. The spring goes opposite of where the parking brake lever is at. And when you put it in, it goes outward like this. Not inward like that, outward. Here's a tip for setting the actuator link, color coded in red from the new kit. You're gonna pull the actuator lever with one hand. And with the pliers, you're gonna pull from this little hook, so it'll look like this. And there you go. Make sure you have enough room for the other spring. And the rest of the springs are a piece of cake using the brake spring pliers. Ah, there you go. Get that last one in and you're done. The last tip is about pre-adjusting the brake shoes. You're going to use the shoe setting caliper to get an inner diameter reading of your brake drum. Then you're going to get this side and start pre-adjusting your brake shoes. Once you've done that and you got the drum back on there, all you want to feel is a hint, just a slight whisper of a drag, and you're done. After that, you can adjust your parking brake, and that's it. I hope you learned something. Have a good day.